Call hello, Yahweh, Wahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Shalom to the elect that are scattered amongst the earth. To my brother Sharayad, who was leading, teaching, and guiding me personally and amongst our brotherhood over here. Peace and many blessings to you brothers that I personally labor with. To all you true believers of the Israelite nation. Getting into it, it's Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 28. It reads, the heart of the righteous, study it to answer. So, starting with this word heart, when we go into it in the Hebrew, the word here is lab or laba. It's simply the heart. When speaking on the heart, we're speaking about the mind. And there's some other good words here too such as inner man, and also this word underneath is what understanding, but the heart is speaking of the mind. So when we read this scripture, it's speaking of the mindset, the thought processes of the righteous, the thought process of righteous individuals. Again, the heart of the righteous study it to answer. And it's simply letting you know that the righteous, those who are righteous, they study. And what are they studying? The scriptures. According to the true doctrine. They're not giving answers based upon their own opinions. They're studying to answer. And when you Going to this term or this word answer, it ultimately just deals with how one responds. And you have to consider that responses are not always verbal, but can also be seen in one's actions. And this point is ultimately going to aid to the overall point of this lesson, which we'll get to, you know, later. The fact that all responses aren't verbal, meaning speaking out loud. Responses also can be seen in one's actions. So we'll go back to that topic um, later. But staying here, we have to realize that the scriptures, which is what we are studying, are like a roadmap for us to endure in any given situation. Because that's what the scriptures speak to. Any given situation that may arise. And thus the scriptures are preparing us through our studying and understanding them. How to respond. Or simply give an answer. So again, the heart of the righteous study it to answer. And I want to go into this word study real quick before we move forward. So we go get it according to Google. Study. It says the devotion of time and attention to acquiring knowledge on an academic subject. So the knowledge we are acquiring in this truth is the true knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to continue the definition. It says, especially by means of books. And we know our book is the Holy Scriptures, the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is what we study, the Bible, so we can give what? That correct answer. So we can respond in the correct manner. And our studying is our devotion and time and giving that attention and our efforts to acquiring that true knowledge. So we're not leaning on our own understanding. Our own thought of what knowledge is. Our own desires. We don't have to create our own answers because we're studying. And answering according to thus saith the Lord. I'm going to read the second definition here. It says a detailed investigation. And analysis of a subject or situation. And that's exactly how you want to go into your studying of the scripture. You want to give a detailed investigation. You want to truly understand what's the context of the scripture. 
What is this dealing with? What was the situation that was going on? You really want to understand that so you can actually use these scriptures to your advantage and actually be correct. So that's why it takes detailed investigation. It takes a devotion of times. It takes you to analyze. And again, this is for situations that are going to arise that you're going to have to have an answer for. So hopping back to the scriptures, Proverbs 15 and 28, the heart of the righteous studieth to answer. So let's do this. We will come to the book of 2 Timothy 2 and verse 15. And it reads, study, again, study to shew thyself approved unto God. So we ultimately are studying to be approved of the Heavenly Father. We're studying his words, his knowledge, his wisdom, so we can be correct at all times. Again, not leaning on our own understanding. Again, not for personal glory, not to be pleasing men, not to look cool, you know, because this isn't of men, but of pleasing the creator. I'm going to continue reading the scripture, though. It says, a workman that needed not be ashamed. A workman's desire should be to do his job correctly. Therefore, we're trying to learn our measure. We're trying to figure out our lot so we can actually do it, so we can fulfill it efficiently and on a high level. So it takes time and effort. It's a growing process. It takes learning. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to know everything in a day, in a year, in two years. And ultimately, things are just going to get deeper and deeper. You can't go far enough when seeking out the Lord. So it goes into you paying attention to details to get it right. Again, not according to your own agenda. It's about humility, humbleness. You know, being meek, you know, being broken down, knowing you don't know nothing, allowing yourself to be in a position, you know, to learn, to be built up. And um, that's getting to the point, the simple point slash advice, you know, that I want to um pretty much present in this video. And that's the fact that sometimes it's best to be quiet. Because when you're being quiet, you're able to listen, you're able to learn, you're in a position of studying. Because studying doesn't always have to do with your nose being in the book. Sometimes studying is you looking outwardly, looking at those around you, listening to men who do know, who, who do have answers, analyzing who don't have answers, taking time to examine yourself. To realize where you are, where you're not at, what needs to be improved, so on and so forth. These type of things. So sometimes it's best to be quiet. To just shut up and be prepared to listen. Because listening is a skill. And listening is a great skill for you to study. Because again, you're studying to show yourself approved unto the Heavenly Father. Continuing the scripture, it says, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's a requirement. You have to rightly divide the words of truth. And these scriptures have meaning. They deal with specific matters. You are studying to gain understanding of what's already written, what's already been written, and has already had a purpose and a reason for it to be written. That's what you're listening for. That's what you're trying to understand. You're not reading to give your own um you know, thoughts on what's going on or to even create that. They're not to be taken and twisted to create narratives that support your agenda or desires. To exalt your group or yourself. You don't go into the scriptures like I'm a, you know, going to the scripture and explain it in a way because this is how I desire things to be presented or this is how I would like to be heard, you know, so on and so forth. Because this is what goes on to happen to those who just pick up the scriptures and they're not putting that time in to truly understand it, to learn them. And to actually get the understanding. People who are constantly speaking and talking and not taking the time to be quiet and learning of those who do know. Because that's just not how I work. You are to be rightly dividing the words of truth. 
So again, you study to show thyself approved. And that's going right back to us giving diligence and seeking these scriptures to attain the knowledge, which takes for you to study, which sometimes takes for you to listen, even if it's something you haven't heard of before, even if it's something you may firstly disagree with because you thought you knew it. That's why it's better to be quiet sometimes and listen and take time to study. Even if you don't agree, take that time to go back and study so you can disagree later if that's how you're going to go. Why? Because you want to give the correct answer. That's why you're studying to answer. And again, sometimes that's just shutting up and giving ear to those who are bringing these scriptures out in spirit and in truth. Those who are rightly dividing the words of truth. You know, that could be a way to go. And that would be very smart, especially if you don't know, especially if you haven't obtained, you know, to the point of being able to answer what, you know, has been presented to you at first, you know, at hand. So I'm going to hop back real quick to Proverbs chapter 15 and 28. It says, the heart of the righteous study it to answer. So that's it. The righteous, they're going to study to give an answer. They know how to respond righteously. Because they put forth effort into knowing what thus said the Lord is. And to aid to my point, sometimes that's you putting your hand over your mouth. Right? And taking a back seat. Continue reading though, it says, But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. So the wicked, they're going to just open their mouth and they're going to speak on any topic with free course and not be considered rid of studying and actually knowing. You know? And evil things are things that are simply contrary to thus said, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. So when you hear their answers or responses, you know, it's just not going to be accordingly. Therefore, you get men who claim to be doing a breakdown on a certain topic, but truly, you know, just pushing an agenda. They pushing what they desire to be presented. You know, they pushing how they desire to be treated or how they want to be looked at or esteemed. And it simply is not according to the true doctrine of the scriptures. Again, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. So let's hop back to the second Timothy, second Timothy two and 15. It says study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that's how you ought to be. Rightly dividing the word of truth as the righteous would be doing. But we will continue verse 16. It says, but shun profane and vain babblings. You know, you supposed to shun profane and vain babblings. You're not even supposed to entertain anything outside of righteousness. Why? Because you study to show yourself approved unto the heavenly father, not men, not yourself, but of the creator. You know what's right. You know what's empty. You know, and it's clearly empty to you if you're righteous because it's outside of sound doctrine. And it's not in line with what the scriptures are actually speaking about, which a lot of times is what happened. You know, um, I'm going to continue reading. It says, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. And that's exactly what goes forth to happen. When men get on a roll in the habit of bringing out scriptures from their own, you know, mind, their own wicked, you know, mind and not according to the mind of the Lord. That's how and why we see, you know, men who are always looking to glorify themselves and their groups. They put that before everything. They always glorify certain men. They always looking like they're trying to fulfill an agenda or whatever it may be. They just waxing worse. And worse, as the scripture is saying, they will increase into more ungodliness. And it's clear to see, you know, that their situations are only increasing in unrighteousness and ungodliness. You know, they falling further and further away from the truth. You know, it become apparent to the righteous that they don't understand what's actually going on in real time. You know, that's what's being made clear. And the signs you see is they be stuck 
you know, stuck in one prophecy, always pushing death, never speaking about life, you know, and these things that are to be noticed, to be taken heed of. Because when you see the righteous men, they're only increasing. They're always increasing. All right. They're going into new things that the heavens are revealing. They're breaking down scriptures in a way that you've never heard them before. It sounds foreign because for so long time, you've only been hearing men's, um, you know, thoughts, their opinions, you know, what they've been pushing their agendas. But the righteous men that are increasing, they're rightly dividing the word of truth. And ultimately, they're beginning to prosper. They're prospering in the word. New things are being revealed from the heavens. So again, you know, as my warning, sometimes it's best to be quiet and to be listening. Listen to every godly discourse. Don't just write a man off because it doesn't sound um, something familiar to you. Truly take heed to the process of you studying to show you, you know, to show yourself approved and studying to give an answer. And again, studying sometimes deals with you listening. And then go back, go into the sword and try to disapprove it. You know? Because sometimes it's best, you know, to be quiet and listen instead of writing off things you may not, you know, understand just yet. And that's why you got to continue to study before you decide to give forth an answer or a response. Because ultimately, you can get yourself destroyed by giving the wrong response, that answer. So these are just things to consider. I'm just going to say, Lord, will you edify it? Call her law, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.